గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఫ్యాన్సైట్ వెబినార్ I assume the slide is visible and I am audible. The topic is Psychology of Demotivation. This is part 2. Part 1 last week. It is over. It is available on YouTube. Purpose of this talk? First we must know what is motivation. Then only we will be able to understand what is demotivation then know the causes behind demotivation knowing the causes is not enough we must know how to overcome demotivation my dear friends there are hundreds of books on motivation and thousands of motivational speakers i could find only two books on demotivation and i have not come across anybody who gives any talk on this demotivation and this topic how important you will understand appreciate for example motivation it won't work most of the time the reason is unless you remove those causes which are standing in the way to make it easy for everybody to understand suppose in your bedroom when you enter there is a bad stench awful smell instead of finding out the cause where that smell is coming from you can if you bring a room spray air spray lavender or jasmine and spray yes it will mask that one for a few minutes or few hours you won't feel that smell then what happens again once that that fragrance of that spray is gone you are going to not only that if it is coming from a dead rat that will decay more the smell will get worse the same way unless just like that dead rat unless we remove the demotivating causes motivation is not going to work forever if you have understood this analogy clearly in the chat box please put why because i want to know whether whatever i share easily understandable yes amar jodi ji yes what about others only one person roy chiran ji good so that is what it is unfortunately many people are not realizing this fact motivation do this one that one or in all these positive this one self talk positive psychology everything i'm getting better i'm getting better every day i'm getting better every day in the morning and even in the talk about self talk it won't work it is something like that we are fooling ourselves first you have to remove that the drive so that is what we are going to see what are the the dead drives motivating person to lead a healthy wealthy and happy life is very difficult that is why in spite of the fact there are hundreds of books on motivation thousands of motivational speakers millions of people they are not happy successful do you agree do you agree this fact many people are but about motivation books want to win want to win 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 similar titles plenty numerous so that is why i actually spend a lot of time to find out why why these motivational books and motivational speakers are not able to 
my hobby favorite hobby is thinking thinking analytical thinking critical thinking so i discovered this is the reason we are not dealing with the causes or obstacles so i thought of giving this talk but demotivating a person from pursuing his goals and dreams is very easy very easy i'll come to that one you will be able to identify some demotivators in your life by the end of this presentation this talk is based on feq facts my dear friends i always try my best to make sure that i'll be able to provide facts evidence that would substantiate my talk then experience i somebody else has unmuted um, my the contents of my talk they come from my own personal experience and from the experience of others so it is experience based third course quotations my hobby is reading collecting quotations i have been doing this for more than 40 years i have a personal collection of more than 40000 quotations self motivation i use the word not just motivation self motivation it is intrinsic motivation i use the word intrinsic motivation with the goals and the activities initiated and pursued for self satisfaction most of the time the people jodi ji she will agree with me many especially these days many people they choose a career they write a neat examination je examination not because of intrinsic motivation because of essential motivation their parents want them to do so that is not intrinsic motivation so they struggle hard they fail and in kota rajasthan last year more than 26 teenagers they committed suicide because what they were doing was not out of intrinsic motivation it was out of extrinsic motivation jodi ji do you agree if you agree just raise your hand so partially yes okay fine so i will come to that one explain later intrinsic motivation out of your own passion you want to do it and you know that you have the ability to do that one and the intrinsic motivation nobody can stop it the demotivators cannot essential motivation easily it will disappear two types of motivation intrinsic pleasure and curiosity pleasure and curiosity curiosity means intellectual curiosity again towards the end i'll be showing the picture of a personality who became highly successful in this group everybody knows that name that is out of curiosity then pleasure seeking happiness everything intrinsic motivation essential motivation rewards and punishment is why people go doctors again go and work in the middle east rewards more money what about me i come to usa my motivation both intrinsic and extrinsic extrinsic yes i can earn more money as a doctor here intrinsic work life balance most of the doctors in india they are not able to enjoy a work life balance do you agree if you agree put why in the chat box my dear friend 
work life balance a successful doctor in india they may not be able to stop seeing patients even till 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock they start their work early morning all hours and all those things i mean right if i'm right in the chat box please put yes okay good ashish and all those people so i wanted work life balance so that is more important you have only one life what's the point in working like a robo and making money 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 so intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation i am here reward and punishment extrinsic suppose you are going to lose a job the it sector if you don't meet their goals the deadline they will fire you so that is the motivation to save your job you will be motivated to do many things the rewards and punishment world is saying the carrot and the stick by giving you carrot that is rewards motivate you stick punishment motivate you demotivation lack of reduction of interest enthusiasm and readiness to perform a particular action initially you started with a lot of enthusiasm soon that enthusiasm interest everything reduces either abruptly or gradually new year resolution almost all people in this group you must have taken some new year resolution and you may have followed that one maybe for a week and now it is second month and many people they don't pursue that resolution am i right if i am right say why yes because i want to make sure that we are on the same page yes 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 jodi makarji so musamillu so what demotivates you so many people they don't realize why i took this resolution and i am not i am giving up why they don't they will try to rush less ah ellavaru angane aan yeah most of the people like that last year also i did the same thing and this happening to many people so chalta hai no if you identify the root cause what is demotivating you then you can you can that don't actually materialize your that resolution your greatest weakness lies in your demotivated mindset mostly created by the opinions of others not in your abilities my dear friends there will be plenty of people around you in your personal life professional life and social life who will make all kinds of their comments based their opinions and those opinions can kill or drown your that motivation be careful never never listen to anybody that try to discourage you maria carey american singer she is a what you call mixed race person father african Afri- american mother irish white woman i'm going to share my personal story some of new people some of the participants so i some of you might have already heard this one then as working in the hospital the hospital was a federal government hospital i was subjected to discrimination harassment retaliation because of my color because of my nationality everything 
so my rights were violated so option i can fight fighting means i have to file legal cases against the management yes i decided to file now comes demotivates people ready to discourage me my friends <coughs> indian friends some from tamil nadu some from kerala one person told me hey fighting against a federal government <laughs> you are crazy do you think that you will be able to win and do you know how long it will take one person another person is a engineer he is around the age of 55 he told me sir be careful don't do this this is a country they they have guns so somebody may come and shoot you if you file a case against them third person told me do you know how much it will cost for a legal battle and you are stupid enough to get demotivated i did in that's why i am so excited about giving such talks i did in i let's explain why i did in and i it took as they right it took more than 7 years five cases i won all the five cases i won all the five cases it is not because i am a genius or i am any super intelligent nothing all that requires is self confidence self esteem and self respect that self respect many people they don't have eight causes begin motivation demotivation poor self confidence any goal you set or anything to achieve that one you must have strong self confidence and the self confidence you cannot buy from anywhere else it has to come from inside low self esteem lack of clear objectives lack of purpose in life burnout fear of criticism lack of recognition because when you do certain things if you don't get appreciation from your supervisors or from anybody else after some time you lose that motivation negative mindset now self confidence i gave a webinar and that one is in the youtube if you are interested watch that one where i have given a lot of information with the facts real life stories the same way i gave a talk on burnout also recently again available on the youtube fear of criticism last week if you watch that part 1 yes you'll know how to deal with criticism then mindset i given a, a couple of talk smart mindset dumb mindset right mindset wrong mindset self confidence and self esteem are the antidotes to demotivation if you don't have self confidence forget about it forget about it even if you read 100 books on motivation even if you spend thousands of rupees and attend many seminars workshops nothing will happen then how do you build the self confidence and self esteem <laughs> why people don't have the self confidence deficiency of three life skills that is absence of three life skills that is the root cause begin <coughs> diffidence or loss of self confidence those life skills are one communication skills to 
whole brain thinking skills. Three, stress management skills. If you want, take a screenshot. Communication skills, whole brain thinking skills, stress management skills. All the three are essential. If one is missing, forget about it. This is something like a, a stool with the three legs. You need all the three legs strong and firm. If one leg is missing, you cannot sit on that chair or that stool. Am I clear? If I am clear, chat box put why. If this is very important. Amar Jodi ji, not. Okay. Bashir, yes. So, communication skill. My own personal success and professional success. Because I invested a lot of time and energy in sharpening and boosting my communication skill. I know what to say and I know how to say. That is one of the factors behind my success. Second, whole brain thinking skills. I know how to think, how to use my left brain, how to use my right brain, how to use whole brain. Then, third one, stress management. Stress-free life is impossible. Every day, stress. Look at the politicians. Because I talk about politicians because easily understandable. Look at the Kerala chief minister. Is he stress-free or is he facing a lot of stress about different kinds of allegations? If he's stress-free, do you think stress-free? If you don't think stress-free, put N, no, in the chat box. If it's not stress-free, put no. In the analogy, if it's not stress-free, then put yeah, no, yes. So he is facing immense amount of stress. What about the politicians like in the center? Modi. 2024 parliament election, stress, winning, all those things. But how many of them suffer from depression? How many of them they commit suicide? That neat examination, JE examination, when they fail, the youngsters they commit suicide, their parents commit suicide. But these politicians, they never, they know how to. Ministers. They have all these three life skills. Communication skills, old brain thinking skills, and stress management skills. We don't have to become a politician, but we must have those three skills. If you want to thrive, if you want to thrive, achieve a lot of success in your life. I am not afraid of criticism or what somebody may think. This gentleman, the baseball, is an athlete. Again, we can learn many lessons from athletes. In the cricket, I'll give you an example from the cricket. If Kohli, it's century, oh, applause, everybody will be applauding. Oh, great, 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 great. And he scores only zero, duck. Yeah, now comes all the criticism. stuff. Hey, he should not have done this one. He should not have hit that ball. They simply ignore. People write a lot about that one. The same day, social media, main media, everything. If they are worried or afraid of criticism, they will be paralyzed. They will be paralyzed. They won't be able to do anything. Am I right? If I am right, if you agree, 
chat box why because i want to make sure because i am sharing some real life examples a yes, samar jodi ji yes real life examples not hypothetical some people talk about yeah that on this book says that book says this research says that research says hey, give me real life examples not some research somewhere i'm talking about real life <coughs> so i like that quote to avoid criticism do nothing say nothing and be nothing albert hubbard this quotation they this one actually influenced my life a lot so whatever you say some people will criticize whatever you do again some people will criticize if you are afraid of criticism don't say anything if you don't say anything obviously nobody is going to criticize you <coughs> don't do anything <coughs> nobody will criticize you then what you will be you will be a nobody you will be a nobody passive that one i don't want to be a nobody my dear friends i don't want to be a nobody i want to be somebody so if i want to say something i am not afraid of criticism i say what i think if i want to do something i do what i want to do you got me this is what theoretical knowledge is not enough theoretical knowledge is useless if you don't apply what you learned what you know that knowledge is virtually useless and i apply that one i am sure most of you in this group or all of you can apply that elbert hubbard that one my dear friends don't be afraid of criticism you got it do you agree if you agree say yeah put alphabet a if you agree that you can ignore criticism if you want to if you choose to put a a a a yes anil kumar ji yes i'm glad that is a, you are all actively listening we are interacting perfectionism is the fear of being criticized perfectionism is the fear of being criticized people who suffer from perfectionism most of the time they don't do anything because they are afraid if it is not correct if it is not this one perfect others may criticize they don't want to face that criticism but net result they don't do anything this again from my own personal experience one of my senior colleagues he was the deputy superintendent of the medical college hospital at that time i was working there as a faculty and there are many things which required some changes improvement so i used to go approach him and told him i tell him hey if you do this one that will be better and this can base one patient everything and he said yeah 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 good idea yeah yeah and let me think about it and uh, give me some time okay one week later when i and uh, there are see i want to make sure that if i do something it should be perfect if i do something it should be perfect and next two years he didn't do anything that perfectionism after the talk i will share the name of that gentleman with the dr shaji dr shaji and dr mohanlal if you want to know i will share that name subsequently i think perfectionism you are the deputy superintendent nothing was done that fear of criticism procrastination is a sign of a perfectionist procrastination means delaying many people they don't do things and do you and say why this guy is delaying 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 because that perfect they won't do it do you understand this point if you understand say yes that is why people don't do certain things you think that is what oh, is easily done because they are suffering from that perfectionism 
Amar Jyoti Ji, you put a six. I don't know what that six means. Or is it a, a number? Oh, yes, instead of Y. Okay. Six is above the number Y. Perfectionism really is the enemy of happiness and success. Okay, Silver says Stallone. I assume all of you know him. This is his own words. I am not handsome in the classical sense. The eyes droop. The mouth is crooked. The teeth are not straight. The voice sounds like a mafioso hall bearer. But somehow it all works. And let me tell you something about the, this problem. He was born with a partial facial nerve paralysis. Face nerve paralysis. Due to the birth related complications. Because of that one, his mouth it goes a little bit crooked, smile. Because of that, his speech was always slurred speech. Slurring of the speech and that deviation of the angle of the mouth and drooping of the eyelid. He didn't worry about perfectionism, my dear friend. That is a take home message. If you are worried about, oh, I am not perfect, okay, what will others think about my crooked this and my teeth are not perfect, imperfect and all those things. He won't be able to accomplish, he would not have been able to accomplish anything in life. So I am showing the example of Sylvester Salon, just some of you, if you are suffering from your appearance related that one, some complex, inferiority complex, put that picture in your bathroom. And every day, while you are brushing the teeth, look at Sylvester Salon. That will remove that demotivation. Bachelors and spinsters are increasing due to perfectionism. Bachelors means unmarried boys. Spinsters, unmarried girls. For a long time back, most of them they used to get married before the age of 25. Now, even after 30 years, and sometimes some of them they don't marry. Is this true? What I'm saying is true. Put T. The what I have shared is the true. Put T. My dear friends. The alphabet T. You were on some of your friends, ladies, and the people? Yes, yes, yes. What's the reason? Reason is perfectionism. The girl wants a boy perfect. He should be handsome. He should be highly educated. He should have a job. High pay job, six digit income. And he should not have any kind of bad qualities. And all these expectations, he should be tall or he should be fair. The same way with the girls also. Net result, you won't get a match. You won't get a match. Perfectionism. Now, do you agree? If you agree, put A, alphabet A, my dear friends. Because many people, they don't even realize this one. Because I'm observing what is happening in the real world. I observe, watch the real world, and I sit and think, why, why, why? Perfectionism. Agree. Thank you. Most of you agree. Our comfort zones are the greatest enemy to our potential. Comfort zone means, okay, you don't want to leave. Those who are in Trivandrum, those who are in Kochi, those who are in Delhi, they don't want to leave that place and take a job somewhere else. Or the old company where the pay is low. There is no possibility for promotion till they are comfortable. They don't want to do anything. Try comfort zone. 
Comfort zones are most often expanded through discomfort. Real life example again. I'm sure some of you already know, but you may not be aware, you may not realize. Bank, here my friend, some people are from the banking profession. In the bank, clerical job. Significant number of people, they start their career as clerks. Then if they want to grow, they have to take the test and interview everything, then they will become assistant manager, then deputy manager, then manager. Most of the girls, they don't. They don't take any exams. The reason is, if you are a clerk, then you won't be transferred out of the state. And most of the time, they won't be even transferred outside the district. They'll be transferred from one branch to another branch within the same district. Comfort zone. No disruption. That is why. Do you know this one? Are you aware of the fact I'm sharing with you? If you are aware, they put A, aware. If you are not aware, then check with people in the banking profession. Before I gave this, before I giving this talk, I talked to senior general manager, retired from SBT. And I gathered the authentic data. He told me, plenty of girls, they don't. And men also, they don't. Then what happens? Then comes the stress later life. There are juniors. They take the exam, they get promoted, and subsequently, after some five or ten years later, they come back in the same bank as the branch manager. So these guys, they have to work under their juniors who have now become the branch managers. Then comes the ego and anger. They suffer a lot of health problems. It's a reality. I'm not coming with any kind of fictional response. Anger, frustration, everything. And politicians also, because once when I was, a, once when I was a, in the train coming from Kochi to Trivandrum, I was sitting next to a, an MLA and who had won several times. Ask him, oh, why didn't you contest in the parliament election to become an MP? And he told me, no, no, no. I'm very comfortable here. If I win the election, I'd go to Delhi. In the parliament, language barrier. I cannot speak in Hindi or English. And not only that, lifestyle. And my children are going to school. My wife is working in a bank, so I'm comfortable. Comfort zone. Politicians also, some people, they don't thrive or grow because of that resistance to leave the comfort zone. Motivation comes from working on things we care about. It also comes from working with people we care about. Never, never choose a career you are not passionate about. A career choice, it should match your attitude and aptitude. Again, a real life experience. When I was working in the medical college, working as a physician, medicine doctor, every week I had to take a casualty duty, night duty also. In the night duty in the casualty, there will be three doctors, a physician, me, a surgeon, and an orthopedician. The night duty starts from 8 p.m. till next day morning, 8 a.m. And if there are no patients after 10 o'clock or something like that, yeah, that's a retiring room. There are three beds. You can go and just rush there. And if a patient comes with a casualty, medical problem, then the nursing assistant or attender will knock at the door and say, medicine, medicine, surgery, surgery, surgery. So whenever the attendant comes and knocks, I immediately say, oh, okay, power. And within three minutes, I go down. But I have seen some, not all, some guys, surgery, orthopedics, they won't get up. 
nurse will keep on knocking surgery surgery no response then i get up and tap on the shoulder of that guy hey bleak in the water ah yes i will come then again he goes to sleep 10 minutes later now the nurse comes a hey, doctor the patients the bystanders they are getting angry ah okay pa varam then i could hear his customer but mash up and varangana samayikkatilla they won't let me sleep so this guy has a has chosen a profession that unfit for him do you agree if you agree put why and is he happy by being a doctor is he happy no he will never be able to enjoy that profession every time whenever he comes to duty i have seen such people coming with a sullen face angry how can you give good care quality of care so you should not have chosen the medicine profession that is why i am telling you passion choose a profession because again the parents and grandparents they are compelling their children and grandchildren to choose a profession which that's not suitable for them so they do, they make they are like miserable they don't enjoy they feel very much demotivated and working with people friendly warm helpful people negative people and negative experiences are strong demotivated avoid negative people gain wisdom from negative experience always when you have a when you have failed negative experiences sit and think and analyze where did i go wrong what did go wrong you can learn lessons from that failure then failure is the stepping stone of success many people they don't do that one they immediately give up they don't even try at all okay people who motivate me my own personal this one helen keller you know i have read her biography and helen keller in spite of the fact three handicaps blind deaf and dumb her success if at all whenever i feel demotivated because of unfair baseless destructive criticism or if i face some obstacles i immediately mentally visualize helen keller that don't gives me the that again boost recharge my motivation buddha biography if you haven't read please read that one jayalalitha yes why jayalalitha jayalalitha virtually she was an orphan her parents passed away long time back and her brother also passed away she was not married no children when she had to fight against karnanidhi and co karnanidhi some children like aragiri talin kanimuri and his nephew dayani dumar an army her courage her immense self confidence her self esteem excellent communication skill she could handle four languages very well and strong will determination because of her that that sandalwood that that chore virapan encounter skill read her biography available amma book then ammu to amma loan empress i can read tamil so i used to read articles about the jailada in tamil newspapers and the tamil magazines that's how i learned a lot about jailada again steve jobs ha huh. our rahul gandhi he is standing in a paddy field he also helps me overcome demotivation look at the all criticism he is facing because of all this jodo yatra whatever he is doing whatever he does criticism social media trolling and everything he is immune to all those things he doesn't care about the criticism do you agree if you agree put why in the chat box 
millions of people <laughs> they make all sorts of negative comments negative everything about yes amar jodi and all these people so he is also for me yes every day first thing i do is i google i search for rahul gandhi latest news i keep track of him there are some biographies also i haven't read biographies on rahul gandhi but i closely every day not even one day goes without my reading about rahul gandhi and thomas alva edison my dear friends how many of you know i don't know edison then he was around 7 years he went to school on reverend engel he made very nasty humiliating comment about him adil he called him adil the 7 year old 3 months of formal schooling he was upset he went home and he told his mother nancy edison she went next day to talk to the reverend and she was also got she got angry because of the reverend's the tone and language she didn't send him to school home education his mother taught him reading writing maths and she got in the books his curiosity intellectual curiosity even a book on chemistry experiments he can do at home 1093 patents those are the things if he had gone done formal education he would have been a big failure if he had gone to school and had a college degree he would have been a big failure and he one of his quotation is we most of us we we give up easily there's no perseverance even for that electric bulb that filament he tried hundreds of materials so those are the facts now initially i told purpose of this talk is know what is motivation know what is demotivation know the causes behind demotivation how to overcome demotivation have a succeed in meeting my promise i gave a promise i have succeeded if i have succeeded please in the chat box put yes have a yes sanal kumar yes yes is i didn't talk about the problem only many people they talk about problem but not solution the solutions i shared real life which i practice i am not a theoretician thank you now the talk is almost over upcoming talks next week psychology of aggression after that psychology of optimism so my dear friends please share the video recording with your friends and especially teenagers youngsters will be a real wonderful gift for them i am going to stop the recording then no not now this i will continue now i welcome question only questions now please ask specific question and be brief to the talk yes jodi ji go ahead and what is your question uh thank you sir for the wonderful session sir i have three questions and they are related to this talk only uh can i ask all three of them uh one question now so that we'll give others for the time then after 9 o'clock i will continue at that time you can ask the questions the other questions ask one question now okay uh, like you told out here uh, that uh, albert albert had said that to avoid criticism do nothing say nothing and be nothing yes. i could not understand this uh, i could not understand this phrase because according to me if you have many people criticizing you it could be one of the cause could be they are jealous of your achievements it could be that they don't want you to move ahead if you are progressing ahead in life you are moving ahead in life you have some golden qualities which they don't like it and they want yes. to stop you they want yes. to be yes. the barriers so yes. it's jodi better ji. to ignore them right. it's better yes. to jodi ignore ji. them yes jodi ji i have faced a lot of criticisms in my life and most of the time the criticisms comes from people who are incompetent who are they feel jealous they feel threatened about me i have faced i simply ignore if somebody is making some criticism without any basis it is a constructive criticism i welcome that one 
where they are my well wisher anybody who gives a constructive criticism that will help me improve my whatever i am doing i welcome with both hands otherwise destructive criticism baseless i ignore i move on that is what it is that one he made that comment sarcastic <laughs> that quotation was sarcastic if you want to avoid criticism say nothing do nothing and be nothing <laughs> that is the one sarcastic okay anybody else next person who wants to ask a question please raise your hands don't worry don't be afraid don't be a perfectionist you should not ask what will others think if i ask this question that is a side of <laughs> perfectionism will others criticize me for asking this question so don't worry ask me a question we have dr gobomar if he wants to ask a question please then anthony putten parikal gobomar ji yeah ask me a question i am venu actually inike question alla inike or suggestion parana ningal comfort zone na patti paranju so you cannot completely in english gobomar ji ah see see actually actually you cannot completely blame the people because you know that uh, especially the females they have to look after the children and other thing and suppose this person is uh, transferred from here to uh, kochi there will be nobody else uh, similarly you can also see among doctors many of the females they prefer the non clinical uh, specialty because they don't have night duty they they can come at uh, they can have the uh, all uh, holidays they can enjoy so they can um, look up for the children so completely you cannot blame these people but uh, she that should not be a, uh, what to say it should not block your prospects in your uh, job exactly. but to a certain extent uh, you yeah. have to make some compromise especially Omar, for yeah, the females yeah, i will explain to that one ah. you know because we are from the same medical college that is every day morning i used to you know, from dr joy philip his wife was working in the uh, the pharmacology department every day morning the pharmacology department other non clinical most of them stopped by lady doctors what they do they sit and because they are jealous those are working in the clinical side gynecology or pediatrics they are very popular they are making a lot of money and they all sit and <laughs> criticize negative about that one they are feeling actually frustrated they are feeling frustrated that's not good suppose if you don't mind if you are enjoying what you are doing without any frustration then it is okay staying in the comfort zone so that is not just a comfort zone that is like not just a comfort it is a miserable uh, but we, we we also require people to work in this specialty also yes yes, uh, yes everybody cannot uh, become a clinician yes go uh, omar uh, 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 you remember doctor mm. um, our balraman nayar no nah. pathology he chose that with passion mm-hmm. and it's dr sara vargis with a passion and some people in the anatomy yes biochemistry dr cr soman with mm-hmm. a passion so people with the passion they should choose that one otherwise no you are there to just uh, you don't work anything just to collect no fully when uh, jodi jodi ji in kerala without working people demand the money it load workers they don't do any work they won't even take anything and they say give me the money so that is called no kuguli no means looking if you look at that what you don't do any work and you want money that is what is happening so now i am going to stop the recording and please don't go away we will continue the discussion and jodi ji you can ask the other pending questions at that time okay thank you all for your active participation Don't forget to join me next week Psychology of Aggression <coughs> Sir